to Alice in Yogaland. Today, I want to talk a little bit about karma. Karma, actions, reactions, merits, demerits. Pantanjali speaks of karma. Actually, he starts to speak about karma in the second chapter, 212 in Pantanjali's Yoga Sutras. And he speaks that, he speaks a little bit about how we all have karma and for every action there's a reaction so he says we come into this life with karma that basically should be worked out so that's old karma he references it references it as parabda karma and then we have karma that we accrue in this lifetime that we have control over it's called agami karma and then the Sanjita karma. The Sanjita karma is either not yet seen or it's stored for many, many, many lifetimes again, lifetimes ago and hasn't been, and hasn't come up yet. So um, say we have the old karma stored in our hips, the Parabda karma, and it's the storage areas would be like suitcases. So say the karma saya. The karma saya is where the karma is stored. So say your hips are stored in a little pocket and a little, the tips are stuck in that little pocket. Say the parabda karma is stored in the hips. So that's karma we come in with. So either we were, it was looking for this body to be stored and it's stored here, or we accrued it in early childhood. And there's nothing we could do about that karma because we came in with it with that. We came into this life with that karma. But the agami karma, we basically have, have basically crewed in this lifetime and just say that's the shoulders, okay? So we've done good things, merits. We've acquired good karma, positive karma. We've done some not so much good things. We've, we've acquired demerits, not such good karma. So. So the good karma, the good, uh, healthy karma, punya, the demerits of punya. So now here we have this, the parabda, the agami, and the sanjita, say, can reside in the heart or the dot of the spine. So it maybe doesn't come out in this lifetime or it's waiting for another lifetime because whatever we do here is basically according to this Hindu philosophy, is going to show up another place. It may show up here, but it may show up at another lifetime. So just think of a bowman. A bowman is like this. So the bowman has a whole bunch of arrows stored in his pouch behind him. So he's going to grab a bow. He's going to pull the bow back. And then once he lets the go, bow go, there's no control. So whether he pulls the bow out gets the bow ready, lets it go. So th that's, that's the reference Pantanjali makes towards how the karma is played out. So Parabda karma hips, my teacher always says the right hip, anger and guilt is stored here. He says the left hip is shame and sadness, cross reference with the shoulders. So the right hips cross left, cross-reference with the left shoulder of omissions, things that we didn't do or say maybe we wish we had. The left hip is cross-referenced with the right shoulder, and the right shoulder stores the agami karma of actions, words, and deeds, things that we did do or say maybe we wish we hadn't. I call it foot and mouth disease. And that oldest karma, the sanjita, which maybe shows up or maybe waits for the next lifetime. Today I'd like to demonstrate bow pose Arkana Dhanurasana. So it's knee towards the ear bow pose. Karna was an archer, so it's like an archer's pose, just like I was describing the bowman. So you want to be warmed up for this pose. Don't try to do this pose when you're cold because it could hurt your hips or your knees. So be, be mindful of that. Left arm inside the left leg. My left piece fingers are going to grab my big left toe. Right hand. Right piece finger is going to grab the big right toe and I'm going to pull it back, pull it back, pull it back as if I was shooting my bow. Going to come down, second side. So I'm going to pull the right leg back. Piece fingers of left hand are going to go for the left big toe, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. 
Arkana Dhanurasana. Full pose, knee to the ear. So today I discussed a little bit about karma and how Pantanjali describes it in the Yoga Sutras. Punya merits, apunya demerits. He also says, you know, we should really work out the karma we came in with, the parabdha, which we have no control over, but we do have control over that agami karma and that sanjita karma. Even though that sanjita karma may not have been let go, if we do the right thing here, we can go into the next lifetime with even better karma. So be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, and thank you for joining me today at Alice in Yoga Land. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Alice in Yoga Land. Till next time.